Hey everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. It's winter time and we've got a bunch of great winter brews coming out this season. Um, I'm reviewing a beer today that I typically don't buy the brand. It's Dundee. Uh, it's, it's, it's what I would call an, I don't know, I'm going to get comments about this, an average beer. Um, it's not something I seek out, but I personally really like winter ales. Um, I like beers that kind of have that red tint caramel flavor, a couple spices, the uh, weather gets colder, you want something a little more hearty with a little bit more kind of body and flavor to it. So um, I gave this a try. Um, it's called Festive Ale. Uh, it's their version of their winter ale. Um, they just say it's an ale brewed with spices. Um, they describe it as subdued yet spicy. Uh, the spicy part is really interesting. If you look on the back it says it's a full-bodied ale brewed with nutmeg, allspice, cinnamon, and orange peel. And, um, and in parentheses it, parentheses, it says, sorry, no bark. And what, that, what they're talking about is they, they have this dissertation on the website and on their bottle about how these winter ales go as far back as 600 A.D. And they, they didn't have ways to preserve beer, so they would actually use tree bark to help add spice and preserve the beer. Um, but anyway, that's just kind of a nice little tidbit, FYI. Um, but anyway, what's interesting about this beer is that when you when you first pour it, you smell a ton of spices. I personally smell the orange and probably the allspice the most. And to me, whenever I think of allspice, I think of a pumpkin pie, um, which is something you make in the fall. So I think it fits very well. Um, it poured with a bunch of head on it. If you look at our website, microbeerreviews.com, we always take a picture after we pour it, and it had a ton of head. And as you can see, it's still here. Um, it's a lot of head, but it's dissipated quite a bit, which um, I personally like. I don't like a really, really thick, foamy head. Um, but it's stuck around. It's, it's uh, you know, kind of hangs around on the glass pretty nice. Um, this is a pretty good beer. Um, I was pleasantly surprised. The uh, alcohol content is 6.2%, uh, I believe, and they also talk about how um, uh, it's only available in November and December, and that's it. So, um, you can also supposedly find this in their uh, multi-pack. Um, I've never seen that in the stores. Our grocery stores don't carry it. But, um, I've used her 60, or excuse me, 30. So, I've used her 30, 6.2% alcohol, lots of spices, um, really good flavor, I think, a good combination of flavor, but it's full of flavor. Um, we uh, reviewed Hibernation, Hibernation Ale, I believe is what it's called. That had, it was real subtle spices, real subtle um, winter flavoring. Um, it's on the total other end of the spectrum of this beer. Um, I would actually probably buy this beer again. Um, it's one of the few Dundee beers that I've tried that I would buy again. Um, I really wish they would put a, not do uh, screw off caps. I, I just had this thing about that. I don't like it. But I bought a six pack of this for six fifty on sale. So anything under about the eight dollar per six pack range, I don't expect too much out of them. So I'm, I'm not going to give them a hard time for the twist off cap. But anyway, um, that's what it is. Four spices, slightly bitter, six point two percent alcohol. Very good flavor, nice color, um, quite a bit ahead, um, and I would actually probably give this about a three and a half, if not a four. I will probably put this on our website at a three and a half, and I would buy this again. Um, I don't say that very often about this this uh, brewery, but they're they're doing well. I like it, so uh, try it out. Thanks for watching. Please make comments on our website and our YouTube channel. Let us know if you've tried it. Let us know what you think. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, most importantly, check back again real soon. we got a lot of videos coming out. It's my favorite time of year. Tons of winter brews. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel too. That way you get updated. And we'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching.